So this question is a simplify question. So any question that's short, somewhere between one and three lines long, like we have here, one line, and contains an equation or expression, like we have here, an absolute value equation, is going to be considered a simplify question. Now, what do I mean by simplify? That means typically all I need to do, all you will need to do, is take that equation or expression provided and simplify it. Well, how do I simplify the absolute value of x minus 10 equals zero? Well, to solve an uh, absolute value equation, I just rewrite that equation as is without the absolute value. Um, typically, if I have an absolute value, I'd have it twice, meaning that I'd have the inside of the, print, the inside of the absolute value and then the negative of the answer. But because there's no such thing as a negative zero, this is not relevant to me, which means I'd only have x equals 10, right? Because I add 10 to both sides here x equals 10 is my solution. The question asks, what are all possible solutions to the given equation? x equals 10 is all I come up with by simplification, which means choice C must be correct. Now, I could also use another strategy here, which is plug in answers. Typically, you can use plug in answer strategy anytime all of your answer choices are numbers. And the question is asking for the value of a single variable, right? So I could plug negative 10 in here and see that that ends up actually being 20. So that's why it's not correct. I can plug zero in here and see that that would actually end up being positive 10. And that's why that's not correct. But when I plug 10 in, right, absolute value 10 minus 10 is in fact equal to zero, which is why choice C is correct. Choice D is incorrect because it says negative 10 and positive 10. We know the positive 10 part is correct. The negative 10 part is not correct. And that's why choice D is altogether not correct. So this is the reason why choice C is the correct answer. And here are two strategies that will lead us to that solution.